Hey guys, today is a good day because it's been a long time since I had the last Nightcore uh, headlamp over here for review. This time we will have a closer look at the HC68, which is a high performance dual beam E focus headlamp. So, the cool thing about this is that you have one floodlight and one spotlight, and you can uh, adjust the spot to flood mode with the different uh, or with the two buttons you have. So in most lights that uh, I have reviewed until now you have one LED for throw and one for the um, floody beam and you can either use one LED or the other or both combined um, but you cannot adjust the flood to throw ratio. With this light, this is possible, so that's a pretty cool feature. It comes in the uh, cardboard boxing like we know it from Nightcore, with lots of information already printed outside, so it's nice to hang in the shop so you can already see what you will be buying. 2000 lumen maximum output. As a light source, it uses two luminous SST 40. W LEDs in a cool white, I would say around 6000 to 6500 uh, Kelvin. It's USB C rechargeable directly in the light, so the cable comes with it. And there is a 18650 Lion battery that is provided with 3500 milliamps. So uh, here they say maximum spotlight 1800 lumen, maximum floodlight. 1400 lumen and the turbo mode gives you 2000 lumen maximum beam distance 202 meters in the spot and in the flood we have 77 meters and then maximum intensity 10300 candela maximum intensity uh, compared to 1500 candela maximum intensity waterproof and uh, impact resistant to a height of two meter of two meters so that's enough technical blah blah i would say we open up the packaging and see what it will hold for us on this side you can see that there's USB-C charging, auxiliary red LED, and then the adjustable spotlight and floodlight mode. So here we have a high quality USB-C cable with a little Velcro that's nice to store it away. We have the HC68, two spare O-rings, and then of course a user manual in different languages and we have the worldwide warranty card. So we have one on and off switch on the side and then we have two options to unscrew here. This side with no printing on it, no button on it, will just open the battery tube. Here we have a little battery protection still in place. You can take that one out. We'll show you the battery. Standard 3500 milliamp battery from Nightcore. And then a little view inside the battery tube. So with the plus towards the inside of the tube. It's a strong spring, but the threads one really smooth. And then on the other side, there's a little engraving open for USB. So the engraving is also r very nicely done. The anodizing is in a good quality. There are no sharp edges or whatsoever. And then you really need to unscrew a long way to reveal the USB-C port. That's good, so the light will really be waterproof. I prefer this uh, to all the rubber covered USB charging ports because they uh, always tend to break off or to uh, 
to get lost or to not be 100% waterproof. The head strap is uh, really nice, like we know it from them. There's a little silicon rubber inside, so you can attach it to a helmet and it will not slip away. That's pretty good. We have a sturdy back plate and the holder itself is also made from uh, semi-hard plastic. Really good to adjust the light in it. Won't go anywhere. And here we have the two SST40 LEDs. So the big tear optic is for the spotlight. This one is for the floodlight. And then we have the two auxiliary LEDs. So I would say let's have a close look at the user interface of the light. So one click turns the light on and off. A long click activates turbo. Single click will let you go back to the last used mode. And then we have the plus button which as you can see will completely turn off the float LED. If however I push the minus, you see that the light is going from spot mode to float mode. And in the middle, at some point you will have both lights pretty much at the same intensity. So you have float and throw combined. I will show you here I will dim down the lights so you have a better view about the beam intensity. If I go to turbo, both lights turn on or both LEDs. Click back, not only the spot mode is on. We will go back. Now we are at the point where both lights are pretty even. You can see and now the spot is disappearing and it is completely going into the floodlight mode. So that's pretty cool because you can really configure the light to your needs. And as soon as you figure out which configuration you like, you have different output modes in uh, that configuration then. So uh, you use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through the different output modes and you can turn it off and the light will always remember which mode you last used. So that's pretty cool that it has memory. And I personally really like this configuration because like this you have several output modes and you can always combine uh, flood and throw or if you just need long range you can only use the the throw LED. If you are reading uh, at night you only need the flood LED. If you would now like to activate the auxiliary LEDs double click from the light off. The minus button is here not doing anything because the light starts in the low red mode. One click will get to the high red mode, the minus to the low red mode. One more click to the plus will go to red flashing. One more click will go to beacon. And one more click will go to the SOS mode then you are stuck in SOS. If you want to go back, you need to use the minus button. In this mode, the light has no memory, so you always need to remember that the auxiliary modes are activated with the double click. So that's pretty much it about the user interface. The light also has a battery indicator. So each time that the battery is inserted, the switches will flash. I will turn off the lights to show you how this works. So there were four flashes and then a short break and two more. So the first flashes are indicating the 
volt before the comma and the second one behind. So this one is fully charged and has 4.2 volts left. So that's pretty cool. If you want to know, you just unscrew the tail cap, the tail cap uh, screw it back on, and then you will know what the battery status is. So I would say we have a short look at the user manual, what they uh, tell us that I have not been talking about. So one important thing is that you can also use two CR123A batteries if you don't have the possibility to charge during your adventures. That's always a pretty good feature. And then there's a complete indication here about the output modes. If you go from 100% spotlight, 100% floodlight with the different output modes, so from ultra low to higher. And then of course the turbo mode, which is nice. It is having an ultra low with one lumen in each uh, LED configuration, so that's always good. And uh, the auxiliary red LED has 11 lumen and 3 lumen. I will uh, verify these uh, in my Ulbricht ball and uh, tell you outside once uh, we do the outdoor beam shots. Another um, interesting information is that uh, the lamp weighs 118.5 grams including the head strap and uh, the battery and uh, 70 grams only for the uh, for the flashlight. I will also put all these technical specifications beneath the video so that you can always check them if you have missed something. So I will now check the different output modes in my Ulbricht ball and then we will see each other outside in the forest to uh, have a look at the beam pattern of this nice headlight. Hey guys, so here we are outside with the Nightcore HC68 in the turbo mode with 2000 lumen, which I measured in my Ulbricht ball with even 2200 lumen. So that's uh, really nice if uh, the lumen output is even um, exceeded. So I'm pretty happy about that with Nightcore. As you can see, this is now the flood and throw uh, combined. So I now dimmed down the flood mode and we only have the spot mode or the thrower LED on which uh, is indicated with 1800 lumen and I measured 1780 lumen. So that's pretty accurate. I will now switch over from Spot to flood. As you can see, now we have the beam distance. This one is indicated at the highest mode with 1400 lumen. I measured 1500 lumen, so even here, Nightcore did an awesome job. I will switch one time more to the spot mode, so now we reached 100% spot, 0% flood and I will go back and as you can see at some point in the middle you have the two combined which my dog likes the most as well so that's pretty neat. I will now uh, activate the red light mode with a double click from off. As you can see now the lowest red mode is on. Here the highest red mode so there's not a lot you can see here, but uh, outside in the dark it's plenty enough. And then another click will activate the red blinking. And then we get to the beacon mode and the SOS mode. So all the features are nicely accessible. I like this light a lot for the fact that you can with a single click uh, change the flood to throw ratio to your liking and then you have different uh, output modes available. I have not uh, measured all the different uh, settings possible because there's too many of them. Uh, what counts is that the 
outputs are accurate and even exceed the indicated lumen. So I really hope you liked this video. If so, please make sure to leave a comment and uh, a thumbs up. And if you like, hit the subscribe button. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask me and I will gladly reply to them. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.